Hi, I'm Carol Peterson here at the Wool Market, and I'm ready to teach you how to finger knit. To finger knit, all you need are some fingers and some yarn. I'm using a worsted weight, which is an everyday kind of yarn, in two different colors. First thing you're going to do is you're going to hold two strands of yarn all together, and you're going to put it against the palm of your hand. So the little end is against your palm, and the rest of the yarn, which is called the working yarn, is in the back. The first, and now you're going to weave in it between your fingers. It's already in the back. You're going to bring it to the front, then to the back, then to the front, and all the way around your pinky, and then weave it the other way, and you're going to do that again. Go to the front, in the back, and the front, and then around the other way. Now your yarn, the balls of yarn you have, are in the back behind your hand, and here are my fingers. Now, I'm going to take my, oh, I forgot to say, it should be on your non-dominant hand, the hand you do not write with. Now I'm going to take my hand that I write with, and I'm going to bring it the bottom yarn up and over and off my finger. Watch, I'm gonna do that for all four fingers. Three, four. Now it looks like this. It only has one strand going across the front and it has a bunch of yarn in the back. Now I'm gonna take my yarn that's attached to my balls, which is called the working yarn, and I'm gonna bring it across the front of my hand. Always, you're gonna always have your palm up and bring it across your fingers so that the stitches are in the bottom and the new yarn is on the top. And I found it works best if you start with where the direct, uh, yarn started from. So here I'm starting on my index finger. I'm gonna bring it up and over again. Just up and over, all four. Now, the yarn is attached to my pinky. So I'm gonna bring it back the other way from my pinky. I'm gonna bring it to the left. I'm gonna go up and over, all four fingers. And I'm gonna go again, across, across, and across and oh no, my my yarn came off. Make sure, just stick it back in the front of your thing, of your finger and take it off. And keep going again, across and across. Don't pull it too tight. Kind of keep your fingers across, apart a little bit. That'll make your stitches a little bit bigger. It'll make it easier to pull your, you don't want to pull it so tight so you fell off again. Um, pull it so tight that it gets really hard to pull it over your fingers. And also kind of yank down on your stitches just a little bit so that they're not riding up on your fingertips so they won't fall off. And you're going to go again and keep doing it back and forth, right to left and left to right. Now, if for some reason it falls off, it's really easy. Just stay calm, pick up the loop and stick it back on your finger. It's not that hard. And just bring it across, oops. Cross again, and I'm going to do it one more time so you can see. I'm kind of holding on to this to keep it a little bit tight. Now, if you notice, you can eventually just throw that end behind you, behind your hand. Now, I have one row of stitches that's here on my fingers. If you look, on the other side, I have all of this yarn. These are all the rows of stitches I've made. Now, they look kind of nice like that, but I like it if you kind of grab the bottom like this and 
pull because then it makes it longer and you get a smooth side that's called the right side and if you've kind of flattened it out a little bit there's a bumpy side that's the wrong side that becomes important later on now oh i hear my mother calling me i have to stop right now so what i'm going to do i can't walk around with stitches on my fingers all day long so i'm going to make these stitches bigger a little bit and i'm going to stick a pipe cleaner through them just make sure you go the same way every one a time bring it off oh it's kind of sticking put the pipe cleaner through and take it off and now my fingers are free to do whatever it is my mom wants me to do and you can twist this up a little bit so it doesn't fall off hi i'm back um and i have knitted six feet of my scarf and so i am ready to end it i have if you remember i talked about the right side and the wrong side of my scarf this is the right side it's smooth it looks like little v's on the wrong side it looks like little bumps now i'm going to put this back on my hand where the right side of my scarf the smooth side is up against the back of my hand and it's lining up so i can remember i had it on pipe cleaner so that i could didn't wasn't attached to my hands forever well i can put it from the pipe cleaner back onto my fingers and see how the four one two three four stitches line up with my four fingers i'm just going to put them back on my fingers again one two three four now all the stitches are back on my fingers and i can pull out the pipe cleaner because i don't need it anymore now kind of tighten it up a little bit and put it down now and i'm ready to finish knitting my scarf and if you look see here's that smooth side it's up against the back of my hand and if i look at the back of my hand the rough side is right there now what i'm going to do like i said i'm kind of done knitting so i'm going to count look at where my yarn ended and that's going to be the last stitch i knitted so I'm going to count, find the first stitch, and this is finger number one, two, three, four. So I'm going to take my finger number two stitch, take it off my finger, and put it on my first finger so it looks like that. I'm going to take my first, the stitch underneath, which was the first stitch I knitted, and take it off. Now it looks weird. There's nothing there. So I'm going to take stitch number three. I'm going to put it on my first finger. And I'm going to bring that stitch over. Now I'm going to take my last stitch, stitch number four. I'm going to put it on that finger number one. Kind of tighten this up a little bit and bring it over. Now I only have one stitch left. I'm going to take the end of my yarn, cut about a foot or so, take the end of it, Bring it through that last stitch and pull it tight. So now it's done and it's not going to unravel, but I've got this tail sitting here. What I'm going to do is I am going to get, I'm going to weave this tail into my, into my scarf so it doesn't show. So all I'm going to do is take my tail and I'm gonna bring it through the stitches. So I'm bringing it through all these little loops here. I'm gonna bring it through all four of them. That's number three. 
and then uh, there's number four and pull it through. It doesn't really matter because this is all going to be hidden away. And look, now I'm going to bring it over stitch number four and I'm going to bring it back through the other three stitches. If you bring it through stitch number four again, it's going to unravel. So make sure you go skip a stitch and then bring them through. There's, oh, they kind of got tangly, but it doesn't matter. And I brought it through that one. Now I'm going to bring it through this one. can be a little fiddly maybe make sure you bring both I almost only grabbed the gray one make sure you bring both of your strands through there you go it has gone two different directions which kind of locks it in place and then I'm going to get my scissors and I'm just going to cut it I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail but not much and see there it's all done if you want to see it again, I had that other end, the one where I began. I'm going to weave in that one too. And I have one strip. If you put three strips together, you can tie them with a knot and braid them, braid them, and then you get a nice scarf to wear. If you only use one strand instead of two strands, it's going to be even thinner. I made this flower using one strand of the leftover red from this, and I tied it to the other knot. Well, I hope you have had fun finger knitting, and have a good time.